today. Intel's 13th Gen CPU's release date, first Ryzen 7000 benchmark, Nvidia is officially slashing prices, and Intel shows off their high-end desktop ARC GPU. Welcome everyone to Gamer Mail. First up for today, it looks like we may actually have a date for Intel's upcoming 13th gen CPUs. Just recently, Intel officially announced this year's innovation event in San Jose, California. A two day long event featuring tons of topics from cloud to internet of things and more. They're going to have tech sessions, demos, and even technology showcases. Speakers include the company's CEO, Pat Gelsinger, and more. The event is scheduled for September 27th through the 28th, which is right around the time we expected a 13th gen CPU announcement. I mean, it was their innovation event where Intel announced their 12th gen CPUs. Of course, the actual release likely won't take place, but dates for the launch could be given. Time, as always, will tell. Next, I really want to talk about this video's sponsor. They've been with the channel for a long time now, and I really can't recommend them enough. If you want to begin your journey into the computer science field, or you just want to learn something new or learn more than what you do now, there's no better place than Brilliant. But don't take my word for it. When you use my link, you can try it for free yourself. And here's the thing. Brilliant was made specifically to teach the STEM field, so you know you're learning the right stuff in the right way, because they teach you by having you do it yourself. No boring lectures or anything like that. You go right into learning with fun, interactive puzzles, and there's really no reason not to try it, because when you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you'll get a free trial. Plus, the first 200 of you who visit the link will get 20% off the annual premium. So visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld to get started today. Next up, we have our first real benchmark on AMD's Ryzen 7000 CPUs. The story was originally found by resident leaker Tom Apisak, and as you can see, it's a base mark benchmark. Specifically, it's of a 6-core CPU, and we know it's a Ryzen 7000 part because it uses a Gigabyte X670E motherboard, so it's likely the 7600X. Either way, what's wild is that a user actually found a similar test done on a Ryzen 9 5950X, and of course, that's not a fair given it would be compared to a 6-core CPU. But base mark isn't used very often today, so it makes sense it would be tough to find. Here's the thing though, even when compared to AMD's 16-core 5950X, the Ryzen 7000 part actually beats it, and that's with it running at 4.4 GHz. Remember that next-gen Ryzen is expected to get clocks well over 5 GHz, so the final product should be significantly faster. At the end of the day, next-gen Ryzen is looking more and more interesting. Let's Let's just hope AMD doesn't up the price like they did with Ryzen 5000. Next, if you saw my last video, you know that Best Buy recently cut the price of their RTX 3090 Ti by 400 bucks. That was important because like I said, remember that Best Buy is the exclusive retailer of Nvidia's Founders Edition cards, so a price drop here should mean that it came right from Nvidia. And like I said then, it could be a hint that Nvidia is gearing up to lower prices across the board. Well, it looks like that is in fact the case. According to a new report from PC Gamer, Nvidia is officially announced that they're cutting the prices on their RTX 3000 GPUs, specifically their RTX 3080 and up. The new prices bring the 3090 Ti all the way down to $1499, the 3090 goes down to $1299, the 3080 Ti to $1099, and the 12GB RTX 3080 to $799. Now, according to the report, Nvidia isn't changing the actual launch MSRP, which is what some earlier rumors suggested. Instead, they're including a four-game bundle along with a promotional price. In the company's official response to PC Gamer, they state, quote, After a long period of supply shortages, we are taking action with our partners to deliver a limited-time promotion for enthusiast gamers and serious creators. Now, that's obviously a load of crap. The simple fact is that the crypto market has crashed, and demand for GPUs have plummeted, so Nvidia is lowering prices to get rid of inventory before their next-gen GPUs are released. It's not a coincidence that AMD is including a bundle with their GPUs as well. Simply put, miners aren't buying GPUs. In fact, they're beginning to sell their current mining cards, so no one's willing to spend the absurd prices we saw last year or even earlier this year. All in all, I'd argue these prices will likely remain low, but of course, we shall see. 
And lastly for today, we have a huge story on Intel's upcoming desktop Arc GPUs. In a new video posted by Intel, featuring the company's own Ryan Shrout, he actually goes over the upcoming Arc A750 GPU. Once again, this is one of Intel's high performance parts, unlike their recently released A380. Now, the one he shows off in the video is Intel's limited edition variant. And right off the bat, you can see that it comes with a single 8 and 6 pin connector, which tells us that the GPU likely pulls at least 225 watts. He then goes over Cyberpunk 2077, where he tests the GPU at 1440p on high settings. And as you can see, it gets around 60 FPS. Finally, he shows us five separate benchmarks with the A750 pitted against the RTX 3060. And as you can see, Intel's upcoming GPU is in fact faster than Nvidia's 3060, at least in these benchmarks, with up to a 17% performance increase. And honestly, I have to say that's not bad. Intel's Arc A750 is expected to come with up to 24 XE cores and 12 gigabytes of GDDR6. So it shouldn't be the highest end model, which means Intel really could have some ready to go against Nvidia's 3070. Of course, we definitely want to hold off until we see third-party reviews, as Intel has definitely cherry-picked benchmarks in the past. I mean, let's not forget that they literally made their cards do better in synthetic benchmarks, and then when they added the feature to turn it off, they pretended like it was adding the feature, yet it was already turned on. One issue I will say could be power draw, as the A750 looks to have a much higher TGP when compared to the 3060. Still, given and these benchmarks do end up accurate, Intel could have a pretty decent GPU lineup. And as I've said before, having a third competitor in the market is always a plus. Of course, the biggest issue is that both AMD and Nvidia's next-gen cards are set to release before long, and they'll likely obliterate Intel's arc. But given the price is right, Intel could still compete in the lower end. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for Intel's upcoming GPUs? Or are you just excited that you can finally buy a GPU at a reasonable price? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, make sure to check out Brilliant in the description below. And as always, have a great day.